you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. Does it mean that one million naira is no money to this babe? What is she switch off her phone? One million naira. If you ever call this number again, or any of my numbers, you will not like what I will do to you. Fool. They will not want to get you. My love, is everything all right? Your phone was very busy all day, and later it was turned off, so I became worried. What's happening? My love, please sit down. Please. It's been a very bad day for me. On my way to work, my car stopped working. The one man offered me a ride, which I declined. I finally found a way to get to the mechanic and I gave him the key, which he promised to fix the car. But when I got to work, this same man who offered me a lift came here and was talking trash. So I walked him out of my office. So, how did he get to know your office? I don't know. It's still a mirage to me. He knew my name, your name, he even had my phone number and our address. I don't know how he knew. He's been the one engaging my phone, so I have to turn it off. And what is the name of this man? He he called himself Mr. Sylvester. And also said his friends called him Mr. Vested. Turn your phone on. I'm sure he's the one calling me. He's been calling me with different numbers. Pick the call and put it on speaker. I understand the insult you're receiving every day because you married me. Thank you so much, my love. Your visit has really helped me out. You have to turn your phone on. 
You can never tell when a good call will come in and you will miss it because of this man. Even if he calls, just pick the call. Don't say anything. Don't even listen to him. Maybe from there, he will caution himself. I'm leaving. Okay, baby. Take care. Bye. Thank God for the kind of man I married. How many men will understand? Why are you trailing me? What do you mean by trailing you? See, I don't know about that, but I think we're going the same direction. The same direction? What do you mean by that? See, I am going home and I don't want you to follow me home. Do you understand? I'm going down there to see my uncle. I don't know what you mean by follow you home. Okay then, you can continue. Continue to where you're going to now. You don't want to go again. <laughs> You're acting like a schoolboy. But you know what? I like men like you. So, can we be friends? I mean, can I have your number? No, we can't be friends. I am married. I'm not interested in such act. So you really think that being a married man will prevent you from having some small, small fun? Small fun. Can you continue to see your uncle? Why am I even here talking to you? I'm sure you don't want to turn a fine girl down. Hello? Hello? If that man ever comes back here again, don't you bring him to me. I don't want to ever set my eyes on him. Madam, why now? Why? For bringing him to you today, he gave me 10,000 naira almost my salary. And that is the highest tip I have ever received since I started working here. That is your business. I don't want to be part of it. If you 
whoever ushered that man into my presence again. I will write a memo to the GM on that. He is an intruder and should be treated as one. Am I understood? Very well, ma'am. Very well, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please. Can we? Are you there? Say something to me, my paragon of beauty. I really want us to bridge to a compromise today. I really want us to arrive to an understanding. Baby. Hello? Angel? Sweetie? Hello? Baby, and you say something to me. Hello? All this temptation are coming to us simply because I'm not employed. This time around, I'm going to travel. And I believe that something is going to happen. And I was not stop searching until something is achieved. I'm not stop. Where are you traveling to? Honey, I've taken census of all the chemical companies in this country. I will travel from state to state. It has not paid me sitting at home. I will sit at home and wait for them to write me. I have to go to them. But I strongly believe that this time around that something is going to happen after the trip. I thought you said you wanted to pursue a career in events planning and management. Yeah, I changed my mind again. I'll settle for that if after this trip nothing happens. Yeah. Let me make the trip first. Okay. Honey, you won't believe that he's the one coming again. Man makes man to be evil and wicked. I know you, I, I believe you know what that means. Who are you? My name is Chidi The woman you've been Stopping since morning is my wife. And I'll ask you to stop digging your grave. What do you mean by digging my own grave? Are you threatening me or what? Do you know the caliber of man you're speaking with? I'm aware of the offer you made to her to dump me and marry you. And I'm fully aware that she has told you that she's not interested. Are you still disturbing her? You would listen to me. You don't need to get yourself all worked up. I have given my heart to you, and nothing or no one can change it. Everybody's talking about you. They're talking about me. They say we should. I believe he is not as simple as you told me. Don't tell me you are scared. I am not scared. From all I have seen, the lady in question loves the husband. And the husband loves her too. And can hit at anything that wants to come in between them. Nelly. I was wondering why you would ask me to come and destroy a functional relationship. You parried yourself as a strong man. And after one fruitless effort, you're giving up. You told me 
that the husband does not love the wife and that she is your colleague and that you want to separate the relationship because you believe that the husband is going to dump her you give me an impression that you love her and wants the best for her that's the truth she's my colleague and i love her so much oh don't tell me that after one day you have gathered enough information to counter my brief to you that is why i am the master of this game the come in the mess room i invested can unmax anything within few hours and what and what have you unmaxed <laughs> nelly the beauty of the spider web does not depend on its decoration. It is as a trap to its prey and a defense to its predator. That relationship is built on an undiluted love. And men like me that are unlucky when it comes to love are not always happy. Breaking two lovers. You lied to me. I am. I know all. I'm not happy you called me a liar. This is the first time I'm asking you to do something. I'm disappointed you're telling me stories. What, Nelly? You are not getting any younger. I think you should be thinking of getting a husband yourself. Now leave my presence! You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, what are the tests you took in my company as regard to chemicals? It's right here before me. And I must say that I'm happy with what I'm saying. You actually impressed my chemical engineers and I. Uh, we are very happy. And we, I must say that the future of this company awaits you. A matter of fact, you are what we need in this company. Um, I want to officially welcome you to Dallas Company Limited. Thank you, sir. Having said that, I must tell you that uh, this company is built on integrity and fairness to all. Thank you, sir. We will uh, match your zeal with commercial task. And for the fact that you live in Asaba, we built a new plant in Asaba, and I'm making you the head of that plant. So, Mr. Chidi Ibezim, congratulations. This is your appointment letter. Thank you, sir. And I officially welcome you to the Dallas company. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Welcome to Dallas company. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Please just tell me, what is the excitement about? As you can see, I am not going to Paracot. I am not going to Yenegua. I'm staying here in Asaba with my wife. That is what the excitement is all about! Woo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy, baby. <laughs> Wait, wait. Woo! What's going on? I'm lost here. Explain to me. Babe, my start on salary is $4,000. <laughs> They pay me in dollars! They pay me in dollars! And to show you they are not joking, my wardrobe allowance is 200,000 naira! Everything! Everything, baby! I'm so good. I'm so good. I, I, I'm starting work with her. With dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's together. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Where? Babe, I'm starting work with Dallas Chemical Limited. And they made me the head of their new plant established here in Asaba. I'm happy we are made. I know the young lady is a very good girl. Well brought up, I must say. In short, eh, her mother did a good job. And I will always hail any woman that brings up her daughter in a good way. So why are you complaining now? 
Why are you then complaining? So if you ask me, that woman is the best wife anybody can pray to have. Yes. And please do not forget in a hurry that she stood by your son all through the period that things were rough for him. And most especially now that they have found their bearing as man and wife, you shouldn't be complaining, not at all. Thomas, eh, you know the problem I have with you. I go no, but don't you can you so. Are you the only one that studied abroad? You're not thinking like an evil man anymore. Of course I am. But you're not thinking like one. A year and three months, they, they don't have a child. Eh? And no pregnancy to show for it in Agwam. Yes, I have no problem. She's a good woman. But where it matters, Igota going to Koro, she's not performing. Oh my God. I understand where you are going. Now let me tell you a beautiful story. Tell me, I'm listening. I have a friend who lived with his wife in Onicha for good 18 years. I mean, 18 years before she was able to conceive and give birth to a set of twins. Boys to be precise. And you know what? It was celebrated as though it was a miracle. I don't want that kind of miracle. I don't want it. 18 years? Uh -uh. I'll probably be dead by then. Oh, see, so what I'm trying to make you understand is that that woman was able to register this miracle because the husband's family supported her. I want you, I mean, you to support your daughter-in-law at all time. Did she send you to tell me this? Why would you say a thing like that? Of course, you know that nobody sent me. I am telling you the truth as your own brother, and I want you to accept it in good faith. Thomas, I don't, you're my brother, so I don't want to get upset with you. You're acting as if you don't know that she is the only child that I have. <laughs> Are you telling me that? Uh, am, am I not his uncle? Okay. I know. In his own time, he is going to make all things beautiful. Just wait. Does it mean that if I leave you, you cannot use your brain? You cannot use it up here. Eh? You just sit down there and pretend that all is well, up here? Why are you getting me confused, mother? Eh? You're sounding as if everything has gone wrong. Why? Everything has gone wrong, and you know it. Everything has gone wrong. Why are you pretending that you don't know that things have gone wrong? I don't, I don't understand what you mean. I don't understand. Okay, I will tell you what I mean by that. Fifteen months of marriage. Fifteen months! Your wife has not delivered. No sign of pregnancy. You know, never not seen what has gone wrong. Let me tell you, if it doesn't bother you, it bothers me. And I intend to do something about it. I'll come and see you over the weekend. Okay, mama. Okay, no man, And please, I beg you in the name of God, when you're coming, don't come without your wife. Oh. Because I need to talk to you. I need to sit you down and talk some sense into you. Nonsense. Masalo, masalo, kuzei, mbuzei. Wrong. You look like there's something wrong with your mom. There's nothing wrong, my dear. Don't don't bother yourself. It's just being a normal, difficult person. You know, but I will handle that over the weekend. There was this funny way she was looking at me. I tried to smile at her, but. She didn't. See. My love, was this phone call about me? Sweetheart, why are you bothering yourself over my mother's attitude? You know she's a difficult woman. Eh? I am the one you're marrying. You should be concerned about me. Okay? Baby, I know. But I want you to know that your mother plays an important role in our marriage. 
and we need to find out what her problem is. Mama, if you're being angry with my wife, it's because she's not pregnant. Mama, I tell you your anger means nothing because I am the one that worked it out. You were the... What do you mean you were the one that worked it out? Okay, Mama, I am a scientist. I'm not a doctor. Even when I'm not a doctor, I know everything about conception. Mama, the woman I live with, I know exactly when to get her pregnant. I decided not to because I'm not ready. Please, I don't understand what you're talking about. Mama, were you expecting me to get her pregnant when I have nothing doing? She was the one that was making the money we were living on. So I knew exactly when to get her pregnant. Mama, I decided not because I'm not ready yet. She had better get pregnant. She had better get pregnant too. Else you will not like what I would do. Mama, you're funny. Okay. Let us assume that she was unable to get pregnant. Mama, can you go to Can you hear me? What will you do? Kedi Fenge, man. It's a simple matter. I will throw her out. What is it? I'll throw her out. I'll throw her out. I'll throw her out. You're talking about the woman I wedded in the church. You didn't marry her. You did not marry one. You married a him. Even the church does not allow a man to marry a he. Chidi, let me tell you something. I don't want to get angry. That's why I'm being very calm. You people should not get me angry. Because if you get me angry, you will not like what you will see. I want to more, Chidi. Mama, you're the one getting me angry now. I'm telling you. I'm assuming. It's not me with him. Hey, Maro. Hey, Maro, you know it. You again? What do you want? Do not be afraid, for I am harmless. I sent you a text message and you did not answer me. Why would I answer you? Do I even know you? Why can't you just leave me alone? I came here because I observed that you and your husband are in love for me. Since you have refused to forgive me, I came to apologize face to face. Okay, sir. Your apology has been accepted. Can you please just leave my office? Oh, Melody. The people that claim that they love you are actually looking for every opportunity to bite at you like the cobra and stink like the bee. Be warned. Melody. 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 What is wrong with you? You look odd. Nothing, I'm fine. <laughs> Melody, are you hiding something from me? Come on, I'm your colleague and as well as your friend. <laughs> I know you very well. It's written all over you that you're bothered about something. So tell me, what is it? I'm fine, I'm fine. Nothing.
Hello, dear. Honey, are you okay? Why are you still, still on your uh, office outfit? Oh, I'm so tired. I didn't even know when I slept off here. Hmm. Stress, I know. Office stress. Your car stress. That your old car, which your father gave to you years back. You know what? Whenever I see you opening the bonnet of that old car, I feel so bad. I keep asking God, why? God, why? Why can't you just give us a brand new car? Come on, baby. That's not my problem right now. No, it's my problem. Yes, it's my problem. And you know what? Call me. Baby, I'm very tired. All I want to do is just go in and take a hot shower. We are going to shower together. Just come with me. Are we going far? Does it mean you don't trust me anymore? Just come with me. Come, come, come. Come, <laughs> come, come, come. Get up. Come with me. Oh, baby. Just me. They are no trash. That you have. Your senses, but your actions prove otherwise. How on earth will you buy your first car and give it to a woman? Kizito, she's not just an ordinary woman. She's not just a mere woman just like that. I give this car to my wife. A woman that saw the best in me, the love of my life. She saw the best in me and married me when I had nothing. Yes. You see, I have those feelings that uh, she has caged you with those gems that ladies of nowadays toy with. She caged me with love. Undiluted love. And I vowed to do anything in my power to make her comfortable. Yes. <laughs> she didn't get that for my car. <laughs> Baba Kizito. Don't forget that you're talking to branch manager of Dallas Chemical Company Limited. So you should talk to me with respect. I will not talk to you with respect because you don't respect yourself. Okay. 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 Now get down. I remember that. the same thing. A beautiful woman with a heart of gold. Oh. <laughs> oh baby. I bless the day I met you. Every day I find new reasons to love you more and more. And that is what I told Kizito that I will always love you and love you till I die. <laughs> you have no equal at all. Baby, mm -hmm. you did it. Did what? What is this? Read it. I'm pregnant. Wow. <laughs> yes. How did you find out? Um, I've been feeling funny for a couple of weeks now, so. I went to see my doctor and he confirmed that I am pregnant! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> We are pregnant! Yes. Take it easy, take it easy, please. Come on, I'm fine! 
use my phone? Let me call my mom. Oh. Go and get my phone. Wait, no, 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 you can use mine. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I'm so happy. Hello, Mom. Good. I'm fine. Mom, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us. It shall be permanent. See, dear, give me. What shall be permanent? What is it that you're not telling me? Talk now. What is it, Chiri Biko? I told you, Mom, that it's going to happen very soon. My wife is pregnant. Awesome news. Oh, oh, God is faithful. I always said it. God is faithful. Hi, God, you're awesome. I thank you, Lord. Eh? No more. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this, Chid. Hey, how? When? Yeah, my wife is two months pregnant, and the court doctor has confirmed it that the pregnancy is in the right shape. Mom, rejoice with us. I am rejoicing now. I am already rejoicing. Hey, now, what about your wife? Hmm? She's right here with me. Let me talk to her. Near the phone, let me talk to her. Talk to her. Okay. Hello, mom. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Melo. Hello, good evening, mom. Wonderful girl. Mwa pilaka wesu. If you know how I talk about you, eh? <laughs> you won't even believe it. I am very proud of you. On which open way to a jet and When I talk about you, people listen. Eh, because I know your mother trained you well. Eh, see now, God has blessed you. Hey, Melo! Thank you, Mom. Melo, I am happy that you people have gone to see the doctor. And people, I'm my young. You need to register for a tinnitus. Very, very important. Don't want any complications, so. Mom, we know the importance of the pregnancy. And we cannot leave anything to chances. Okay, mom. Oh, okay, mom. That is good. Eh? But don't worry. Before the month runs out, I'll come and visit you people. Ah, that would be nice, mom. But, mom, I wish you were coming to live here. Oh, my Mbao, that is not possible. I wish I could, mana. You know my little business. If I leave it for that, my sales girl, she will run it down. Mom. Eh? But don't worry, I'll come. Eh? I will come. Go. Come. Go, eh? Very soon, my name will become Come and Go. <laughs> Melo, Melo! <laughs> uh, no problem, Mom. We'll be expecting you. Eh? That God is awesome. Oh. Hey, Nemo. Are you looking at me? I'm fine. Okay. Bye. Wow. Baby, this calls for celebration. Let's go. <laughs> ah, baby. Let's celebrate. We are celebrating. Let's go out. No, no, no. Babe, we can't go out. Why? Babe, you know we have lots of enemies around us. So we cannot give them any chance to be close to us. You just made a point. Carefulness is the watchword. <laughs> How's my baby doing? Hi. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> wow. I want to make a move for the family and a wise move. What exactly do you mean by you want to do a move for the family? What move? You know, when a man loves a woman, she saturates his mind with a lot of thoughts you all are thinking of that right now oh baby i love you i love you with everything in me i love you with all my heart 
you're all that I'm thinking of. I, I, can't, I can't even think of any other thing. I can't even think of any other person. You've saturated this memory, this brain. It's all about you. Why do you want to make me cry? I love you too. I love you too, baby. I love you more. Okay, you know what? Come on with me. Baby, I'm not well dressed to go out. We are not going far, just outside. Mm. Mm. Just come with me. Okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> there is a boy. Whatever. A boy. A boy. <laughs> oh my god. Let me show you the moves. <laughs> Just take it easy. Baby, let me, let me put on my slippers properly. Mm -hmm. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Um. Um. <laughs> yes, baby. This is the moves I'm talking about. No. Yes. Who owns this car? You, of course. It's your car. I bought it for you. Because you deserve it. <laughs> yes, it's your car. And that's the key. Babe. You went to buy me another car when I already have a brand new car? No, that one is old. This one is newer. I'll collect the old car from you. And you'll be driving this new car. Babe, you are the foundation of this family. You deserve the best. See, I will love you till we die. Baby. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing all this for me? You want to know what you've done? You stood by me in the dark days when nobody gave me a chance. I love you, sweetheart. I'll always love you till we die. You sow a powerful seed into my heart. I'll always be there for you. I love you too. <laughs> love you baby. Come on, stop crying. Come on. Rafi, your car. Okay. <sighs> Touch your car. Drive your car. Feel your car. Carry it on your head. Cruise with my baby. You know. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. <sighs> Go and feel your car. Come on, come on. You deserve it. You deserve it, yeah. <sighs> Babe, go. Come on, enjoy yourself. It's okay, it's okay, I'm coming. without me knowing.
with a great big kiss from me to you won't you say you love mama too Friends. My mother said it clearly. Listen to friends and you will die quickly. Hello, my love. I'm fine, yeah, everything's fine. Where are you going? Yes, you did. Um, so, are you coming back home? But, my love, you know I don't know the combination to your safe. Okay dear, just send me the text and I will get the files ready before she gets here. Alright dear, okay. I love you.
coming in before me. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, please, 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 no matter what, get up. Jesus. What's the matter? I saw the vows. I saw everything. Your life insurance was 250 million. And you made me the only beneficiary. Is that why you're shedding tears? You remain the most valuable thing I have. I have your name in everything because you owe everything. What matters to me is your love. Once I have your love, you have everything. In my next life, if there is anything like that. He would be my husband. And I will love you till my last breath. Come on, clean your tears, okay? Everybody's talking about you. You're so funny. They're talking about me. They say we should. 